TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, if you ever do go live and you happen to miss a live, though, this right here is the channel where you can catch all the lives, little clips that's been going on and whatnot and things of that nature. Don't forget, we also got the Patreon, man. If you ever want to help financially and you're looking for a way, just join the Patreon, man. The Patreon makes this whole operation possible, man. This is also a list of things that are on there as well if you want to take a look and watch. And we also got the Discord link down below, man. Let's get to this, man. This this is... This vice, you on a roll, ain't you? Why men risk death to avoid going bald? Listen, man. That's neither here nor there. I, I, I consider myself a sex symbol. Hold on. Maybe y'all can't see me. Let me... Bald or not. <laughs> you feel me? I've had hair. I've had long hair. I have had waves. I've had braids. Never mattered to me. You know, because at the end of the day, I'm bald. I'm 6'2". I'm tatted. Beard. I'm, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? This is really what it is. Let me tell y'all what it is. This you can't you can't have the trifecta. If you got all three, then you down bad. If you bald, if you bald, fat, and broke, that's the key. You can't do all three. You could do two. You could do one, but all three? I don't know what to tell you at that point. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 up to y'all to decipher what three you think I am, what two you think I am. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Keep in mind I'm six two, so my I don't, you know, it look a little different on me. <laughs> ah. Anyway, let's get into this, man. Let's, let's see what Vice talk about. Employees like me to work from home. I should have probably let this get out of the way first. Okay, here we go. Warning, trigger warning. This video contains sensitive content. Okay. Should I do this with the hat on or with the hat off? A 43-year-old businessman from Mumbai died hours after he underwent a hair transplant surgery. 22-year-old finally a medical student P. Santosh Kumar has died following a botched hair transplant. In India, men risk their lives to avoid going bald. Society has given a name to that thing. If you don't have a hair in Hindi, you're called Ganja. Today's trend is that you are saying this is serious over in India. I don't even think we consider all the risks when taking, doing like, when even like, a lot of y'all got hair. I'm talking about the bald community. Let me, I'm talking about the bald community right now. Um, feels a little different. Um, uh, I don't even think we think about the, 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 uh, the risk. That is, they put needles in your head and whatnot. Yeah, they put needles in your head. I'm on a journey to discover why so many young Indian men Man, I could care less. <laughs> are going for hair transplants and how some end up with bot jobs. I'm going to tell you something about me, man. I'm not going to India for it. No offense. I ain't going to India. I'm going to Turkey. I'm going to Turkish. Turkey. Where did Dub just go in Turkey? Heva, Heva, send me the, send me, send me, let me get it for free. You feel me? 
risking their lives to Being comfortable with the receding hairline is a privilege perhaps not many young Indian men can entertain. I've personally lost count of the number of times I have been asked if I am considering a hair transplant. According to a report in 2021, hair transplants are the most common cosmetic surgery in India, seeing over 30,000 procedures monthly. With this growing demand, clinics are offering transplants for as low as 300 to 500 USD, often conducted by ill-prepared technicians with many even done in hair salons. This lack of regulation by the government has resulted in the mushrooming of unlicensed salons and clinics. Hey, I'm now resulting in many bot jobs. and even deaths in some cases they put me into the icu for 26 days and uh, so i was put on an artificial ventilator and uh, had undergone about 10 surgeries on my scalp patna mein ek pulis jawan ki hair transplant ke mahad 24 ghante baad maut ho gayi so i need licensed professionals who 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 are certified You know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to the barber shop talking about some year. Nah, no 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 no. There's an HR manager in New Delhi who documented his hair transplant journey and the botched up procedure on his YouTube channel. Risk lena meri tarah to bhai later hai na. Mil jao yahan se. Paise phooke, time phooka, medicine gayi, look gaya, 8 9 mahine ho gaye aaj. Sirf yahi hai. टाइम You know what I'm saying? Putting my barber through stressful times, making my barber doubt himself <laughs> when that all along it was me. You know what I'm saying? I should have let it go. That's when you do things with your face, which means that natural look comes in. That you don't have to wear a wig, you don't have to wear a wig. You don't have to wear a wig. I went to a clinic and I saw his results on YouTube. I shared his results on YouTube. तो मैंने उसका रिजल्ट देखा मुझे लगा कि ठीक है कॉस्ट पूछी बाकी क्लिनिक के कंपैरिजन में 40,000 जो कि बहुत ज़्यादा कॉस्ट नहीं थी गाइस मैं जा रहा हूँ हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट के लिए अगर आप मेरे बाल देखें तो ज़्यादा बुरे तो नहीं लगते हैं ठीक है अच्छे हैं बट मैं और इम्प्रूव कराना चाहता हूँ अपनी हेयर में उसके लिए मैं जा रहा हूँ मुझे नहीं पता मेरा ये डिसीजन ठीक है सही है लेट्स फाइंड आउट टूगेदर डॉक्टर ने मेरी सर्जरी में सिर्फ दस मिनट दिए थे जो मेन डॉक्टर था जिस तरह से वो स्लीट बना रहा था तो उसने यहाँ पर ज़ख्म कर दिए थे क्योंकि बहुत पास पास बनाने से वो सारी स्लीट्स जो छोटे छोटे छेद होते हैं जिनमें ग्राफ्ट को लगाया जाता है वो तो आपस में चिपक गए तो एक बड़ा जख्म बन गया तो खून भी निकल रहा था उससे एक दो उसने बना दिए थे जहाँ पर जो बाद में ग्राफ्ट लगाई गई वो भी ग्रो नहीं हुई थी Yasser found multiple injuries on his scalp and over time did not find his hair growing back. The hairline Yasser was looking to repair ultimately did not work out as planned. I just wanted to get my hairline back which I might have lost during uh, an accident I had previously around 4 years ago. It's called male pattern baldness. and there were some stress that was the reason i lost aap maine the kiye chala to fir aapko kab realize hua ki shayad dusre wale ke liye jana hai ye apni decision kar liya aur maine wa jab doctor se mila aur mujhe laga ki ab aage kuch result aane wala hai nahi ummeed meri khatam ho gayi thi us waqt meri ummeed bahut zyada khatam ho gayi thi kya ab kya hoga main baal oh wow तो आगे करके रखता था कि जितना छुपा सकूँ छुपा लेकिन जब लोगों से जाके मिलता था इस तरह से देखता था तो मैं समझ जाता था कि मेरी आंखों में नहीं देख रहा मेरे बालों को देख रहा है कुछ लोग बहुत <laughs> बोलते थे यार कुछ
People ask me if there was an issue in my head. Had anyone done the time? So people be taking being bald serious, huh? Like I said, me, I, I don't, I don't really care. The only reason I wear hats and videos is because it's like a, it's like, it's a, it's like a part of it for me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I wear hats outside the video too, but like I, I be taking it off too. I like, I don't care, but it's how I started. That's how I'm recognized. That's how people see. Oh, that's the Sox hat. Chicago to the UK. You get it? Vlog up me, mere chal de de to us baar baar morning note ka da dekhta tha ki har baar aise hum kya hoga iska koi way out ho. To bahut zyada negative feel karta tha, depressed tha. It looked like it low key worked. One way was to shut down the YouTube channel and stop posting. So, today, one way is that I have my YouTube channel one card. Let me come on now. Why do? Why is the vice? Y'all know I be reacting to these. I don't know why you gotta put the, the, the thing across the screen so thick. Because of the other hat you guys. And the other one is that we do it. We see what the cost is and what we can do. We do it well. We research it. Then we find out that my fault was all mine. आज के जमाने में आपको लगता है की क्या फैक्टर्स प्ले कर They're so thirsty. They're so ready for a hairline. They just willing that they hear a low price and they like, oh yeah, I'm on that. Like no, bro. I I gotta see some officialness. You know what I'm saying? They look in the mark me when they choose to go in for these sort of surgeries. देखिए अब की बात अगर हम करें ना बिल्कुल सोशल मीडिया का टाइम है सब कुछ ऑनलाइन है लोग सोशल मीडिया लोग कहीं घूमने जाते हैं ना घूमने जाने से ज़्यादा कुछ उनको होती है फोटो खिंचवाने अगर बाल अच्छे हैं तो आप अच्छे दिखेंगे आप कोई भी एक्टर ज़्यादातर आप 99 परसेंट जितने एक्टर लेंगे आप बाल नहीं भी होंगे तो लेकिन वो भी में जब उनकी शूटिंग होती है उनके नकली बाल लगा देंगे या कुछ भी लगा देंगे तो एक अच्छा दिखना इसमें इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्टर है दूसरा ये होता है कि जब एक लड़की की शादी होती है लड़की वाले देखने आते हैं तो भी लड़की स्पेशली ये चाहती है बात तो होनी चाहिए in a you know constantly changing environment with social media sort of validation and changing i swear i don't have these problems <laughs> i mean maybe maybe part of it is like your own self confidence within but like like i don't even be think about this social media i don't care people tell me all the time i'm bald what i don't it's jokes to me Cause at the end of the day, it could be a lot worse. It could be a, there's a lot worse stuff going on in the world than that that could be going on with my baldness. I could have no facial hair. Having no facial hair is worse than being bald to me. I don't care what nobody says. In perception towards beauty, clinics offering cosmetic surgeries and grooming and other such treatments have become more and more popular over the last decade or so. I mean, no better example than where we are currently in the affluent neighborhood of Greater Kailash in uh, capital of New Delhi. One such doctor in this neighborhood is Dr. Handa, plastic surgeon himself, who also specializes in hair transplants. We're about to meet him and you know pick his brain on perhaps this. Who also specializes in hair transplants. We're about to meet. You see what I'm saying? This, if I don't see this when I walk in, I'm good. If I don't see these seals of approvals, seal of approval, seal of approval. See, if I don't see all of this on your wall. And your and your place don't look like this. Honda. Like I'm, I'm good. Plastic surgeon himself, who also specializes in hair transplants. What about Dr. I'm, Honda? I'm not gonna lie, this is giving me bad vibes. But you know. Plastic surgeon himself, who also specializes in hair transplants. We're about to meet him and you know pick his brain on perhaps these changing trends and what he makes of the industry and its growth. Dimple creation. I got a beard. No one cares about dimples. It's not just about hair. Anything which looks different from the normal society has given a name to that thing. 
इफ़ यू डोंट हैव ए हेयर सो यू आर इन हिंदी यू आर कॉल्ड गंजा इफ यू डोंट हैव ए लिम यू लाइक यूर लोअर लिम यू कैन बी कॉल्ड इज लंगड़ा एंड सिंस दीज नेम्स आर अटैच सो दैट बिकम्स ए टैबू Those are actually like if I don't have hair I, I am bald that's the the definition of bald ain't it yeah and you want to get rid of that tapu Now I say all of this that I'm comfortable but I hey listen if I get some money I am going to Turkey like I said oh I'm getting it back <laughs> but like it's not a top priority thing for me you know what I'm saying Actually when we are talking of the facial harmony what we do is that we divide the face into three parts okay. below the nose up to chin the almost the height of the nose and above that so when these three parts are equal your face is considered more harmonious I feel like I got a harmonious face okay and when the hairline is receded or there is absent hairline then that harmony changes to disharmony what would you say nah when it's all gone it's just one you know what i'm saying it, it looks harmonious to me is a success rate for a hair transplant in general like and in general in a, in a uh, with with a trained specialist the success rate is always more than 95% see what i'm saying with the hopes of a successful result 27-year-old Adil has traveled over 500 kilometers from a neighboring state to New Delhi to have a hair transplant done. कोई ऐसी इंसिडेंट हुई थी या कुछ हुआ था जिसकी वजह से आपको लगा हाँ मुझे अपने आप को थोड़ा और सीरियस लेना चाहिए लुक्स वाइज या अपने बिल्कुल जैसे कि फंक्शन वगैरह के दिन बाल कम होते हैं ना तो लोग कोई ना कोई एक ऐसा निकलता है वो बोलता है अरे तुम अभी से गिरने लगे बाल कहीं पे बैठे हो देखो अगर अपनी एज है या कुछ भी है कॉमेडी चल रही है कुछ भी मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ा कहीं पे जब गैदरिंग अच्छी होती है या वो कोई कर दे तो फिर लगता है कि क्यों मतलब मैंने पैच भी लगाया था तो एक दो बार किसी ने बोला था वीक बोल के तो फिर मुझे वो है पर वो ओरिजिनल नहीं है ऐसा लगा तो वो भी मतलब अच्छा नहीं लगा था आज के ट्रेंड है ये कि आप पूरे सही हैं अच्छे हैं वो आपको नहीं दिख रहा है आप उनको अच्छे ट्रीट कर रहे हैं पर वो बीच में ये बोल देगा अरे तुम तो गंजे हो गए तुम्हारे बाल गिर रहे हैं इस तरीके से Dang, so you telling me if I go to India I'm get I'm getting heated. If I step in India with a bald head like this they going in on me. आपको डॉक्टर हारना की क्लिनिक में रेसिडेंट में ऐसा क्या लगा क्या कॉन्फिडेंस मतलब उन्होंने आपको क्या-क्या स्टेप्स बताए कि आपने डिसाइड किया कि उन्होंने मेरा मैं हेड देखा उसके बाद जो उन्होंने हाल ही में जिनका प्रोसेस हुआ है उनका हर महीने का प्रोग्रेस उन्होंने दिखाया था बल्कि उनकी एज मतलब उन्होंने मेरे को देख के बोला कि मतलब मेरी कम है अभी शायद मेरे जितनी एज में हूँ उन्होंने शायद अभी नहीं करा मेरे से ऊपर ही करा और दूसरा एक है अब जहाँ बैठो एकदम से जाओ आपको अच्छा लगे ना तो बहुत मैटर कर जाता है other factors or factors are starting to play a part like you would when it gets like your hair done i guess but me i'm like you know what i'm saying i got no wrinkles no nothing no nothing like i'm no i don't know it never really bothered me like this much i didn't know it bothered people this much just tough bilkul bilkul to kaise ye area ए, से निकाल के फिर वो हाँ ये रूट्स वगैरह अपने निकाल के वो यहाँ पे पॉइंट करेंगे और जब आप ऐसे करते हो जैसे अच्छा लगता है क्या आ, आ, <laughs> <laughs> उसमें पैच में नहीं होता था जब भी कोई मेडिकल या सर्जिकल प्रोसीजर होता है तो उसमें काफी रिस्क रिस्क भी इन्वॉल्व होते हैं तो आपने इसके बारे में कुछ सोचा मतलब जब मैं निकला मुझे मतलब ये होएगा देखा स्टार्टिंग में तो मेरा मन नहीं कर रहा था एक का देखा था मुंबई में मैंने हेड ट्रांसमार्ट उस डॉक्टर ने बाकायदा बुलाया था मुझे कि उसका प्रोसेस हो रहा है मैं लोग नहीं करना है तीन साल पहले की बात नहीं करना फिर जब हर कोई मतलब करने के बाद जब अच्छा दिख रहा है ना तो शायद तो यू आर ओके टू टेक द पेन नॉट सो मच द प्रोसीजर इज आई थिंक द पेन वुड बी 
the pain would not be a factor. It's just about the qualifications, the certainty that's instilled in me from the doctor to do the job correctly. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're medically trained to do what you're supposed to be doing, pain is not a thing. I mean, it, it's a thing, but like for me, it's like, I don't know. Going to cost Adil roughly 1600 USD, over three times what Yasser paid for his botched up job. A day before his planned transplant, Adil and I visit Dr. Handa at his clinic. I hope you You know what's crazy in America? Like $26,000 for just like 30,000, 30,000 uh, little follicle transplant or something like that. But you know, out here, like it's more of a business. It's not, you not, they not, they looking at it as a financial gain. They're not really trying to help somebody. They just, uh, let's make them come back repeatedly amount of times, as much money as we can. Like these places in Turkey, India, like the good places, they come one time, we got you for a decent price and it'll change your life. It'll make you happier to help spread the word. You're not nervous? No. Good. It's done under local anesthesia, so you will be aware uh, of what is being done. Yeah. And we will also tell you of each and every step that we will be doing. Okay, and uh, it involves multiple breaks also. It involves bio breaks, so you will also have a lunch and break. How much time? Okay. Uh, it will take roughly around... Uh, Nine hours, eight hours? Eight hours or so to complete the procedure. Adil will require 4,000 grafts, a standard count that will be no problem as he has a good donor area at the back of his head. Oh, so wait, he said 4,000, that's it? Am I tweaking? Maybe it was 15,000 or I don't know. So I was I was doing Dub. Dub, he did his first, um, Dub is a YouTuber, American YouTuber. He did one and he paid, said he paid a lot and he didn't, and it sounded like he did like 30,000 graphs. I think that's what he said, but you know. Mm. Me, when I go, I want to go one time, get it done, and be done. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go back. I barely want to stay out there for seven days. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go get it done and be on my little journey. You know what I'm saying? We also spoke about how the medical community responds to reports of botched up jobs as a result of unlicensed clinics. See, uh, all those people who are doing such kind of transplants who are not trained for the transplant surgeries and are still performing it. Uh, our medical council and our associations, they are trying to take actions, but uh, you know, it's not possible to take out weeds, each and every weed out of the thing, out of the system. So the system has to be actually very strict, not just for the hair transplant. I would rather say the whole of the uh, the quackery in India will be abolished. Whosoever you choose, the not only the hair transplant, but I'd rather say the whole of quackery in India will be uh, quackery yeah. in India will be abolished. Whosoever you choose, you choose me or you don't choose me, but choose the doctor wisely. Getting analysis. That's a fact, and that's that's all. That's what it's about. That's what I said. You can't be overly thirsty. You know what I'm saying? Not when people are doing stuff to your head. You get what I'm saying? Just imagine, like, if you get one of those bumps in your nose and it gets infected, like you're right here, you can die from that infection because it can spread quickly to your head. So just imagine when people is poking four-inch needles into your head. Like, come on, man, you got to be smart. That's not a decision that you just make without thinking and doing research. Keen to see if he's as calm about the whole thing as he was yesterday. No pain That's crazy. My hairline used to be like right... I would say it was like right... Dang. Right here. Dang, when I outlined it like that, you could see it more like, <laughs> my bad. So it's, you after do? That, after that, no pain at all. 
See what I'm saying? Like this is professionals. Like he even getting that crown work right. Like he putting it in the direction it's supposed to go. Like the crown, like it's different. Beautiful. See what I'm saying? And I had I used to have waves. Like I don't know if y'all know what waves is, but I, I I had waves before any of these stuff was popular. These trends, these all wave TikTokers and all of this. I was doing that stuff and 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 didn't know that that was that it was like. I was doing what waivers do that whole process before I even, before it was a thing. So the crown, that's an important area. You got to see how he putting it in the direction that it's supposed to flow. You know what I'm saying? Pain levels of around three. It's important for 360s. Three, my, my clients, they report pain levels of around three or four out of ten. In the back, they complain around maybe around six or something out of ten. Okay. He's completely feeling That's for um completely oh numb, that's the numb. Numb and now he's feeling as if I have placed some helmet on his head. Hmm? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. He he will not ride on the bike. <laughs> His journey begins now. Uh, point 0.5 yeah. or 1.5? Dog, this is my right decision. Yeah. For hair transplant. Yeah. It's too late now. You're on the table, buddy. This you should have said earlier. Yeah, right. I didn't find you now this one. <laughs> <laughs> The lengthy procedure takes a toll on any patient, much like Adil. The healthy hair follicles from the donor area will now be planted into the slits. Once implanted, they are likely to shed in 2-3 to three weeks and new hair will grow in its place over time. Adil, yes. how was the procedure? It was pretty fantastic. Hmm? Fantastic. Fantastic? See, the crazy thing is, I would need so much. Like, mine start way, way back here. And it be, it just like, all of this is gone. Like, I, I know it, be, I know that would hurt for me. But you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to change or remove this dressing or anything, right? And you don't have to do any to change or remove. Did you see how his stop right here? Mine would be all the way to the back. This dressing or anything, right? And you don't have to do any exertional activity, like any lifting, any luggage, okay. or anything, nothing. Okay. You have to refrain from all these activities. And then we will do the head wash. Okay. Good. I mean, I, I have a question. How would you uh, describe his surgical process? I mean, you've seen many... You he, he, he was quite chilled out. <laughs> he, he was enjoying his surgery. The pain is some one factor where one feels that, okay, I will have to go through the pain mm. if I undergo a surgery. Yeah. And if you reduce that thing, the pain factor, so the willingness for the surgery increases. Sure. And that's what we try to do. And I hope we were uh, quite successful. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not everyone has the privilege to perhaps not care about how they look. Still, uh See me, I, I don't care either. But like, I, I just want my hair back. And it's a personal thing for me. It's nothing to do with anything else. <laughs> On the Before I was doing YouTube, I was like, dang, if I had the opportunity to get my hair back, definitely. 
Depends if I'm going to do one. Uh, I wonder if they'd be able to take my chest here instead of... <laughs> Never mind. But I definitely have some answers uh, when I get asked if I want to do one uh, next time. Yasser spent close to 3,000 USD eventually to fix his botched hair transplant and now uses his social media to raise awareness about dodgy clinics. He hopes to build a career as a YouTuber. Adil, on the other hand, hopes to gain back some of that lost confidence. I caught up with him eight weeks after the procedure to see the results so far okay. and check in on how he was feeling. And how do you feel now? I mean, I'm seeing that this is full of your area. I don't know, it's full of your area. यहां पे छोटे-छोटे आ रहे हैं और नीचे आके दिखाओ एक क्लोज ये शेडी पार्ट था पूरा ये है बाल ग्रो तो सी ये मैन इट्स गोना टेक लाइक 6 मंथ्स टू फुली बी गुड और क्राउन पे भी एक बार थोड़ा और नीचे झुक के दिखाओ ये क्राउन अच्छा हां क्राउन में भी आ रहे हैं दिख रहे हैं वैसे हां चलो सही तो है पता नहीं मैं करवाऊंगा कि नहीं लेकिन ये सही तो लग रहा है <laughs> आपकी चॉइस मैं तो बोलूंगा करवा दो <laughs> hey, listen. Now you see it. Now you don't. <laughs> TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm done.